God says that he's going to, the, the, the wisdom of the, of the wise men will perish. The wisdom of the wise men. And he, just before that, a few verses before, it speaks about the scorners who rule my people in Jerusalem, or this people in Jerusalem. The ultra-Orthodox are threatening to destroy the, the Israeli government right now. They're demanding two things. They're demanding to be on the dole. They believe they, they are never to work. They're only to study the Bible all day long. You know, the guys with the tassels, the Hasidim, and the ultra-ultra-Orthodox, they send their wives out to work. They're lazy sloths, and you can't tell them anything. Isaiah 51 says they, don't, they can't answer anything. And they will not, they will not go to war. So there's a tremendous rebellion going on in Israel right now. People are no longer going to fight for these sloths. The rabbis who know everything and know nothing. And they're just called the scorners that rule my people, this people in Jerusalem. And their wisdom, Rabbi Hillel says, Rabbi Shama says, well, Rabbi Gamaliel says, and they quote each other, sit around swallowing whole bottles of vanity pills in between breaths, and then they just talk and talk while their wives go out and provide for the home after the wives produce six to 10 or 12 children and they want the state to pay for all of that. Well, you know what? I have no problem with that if they won't work as long as they never eat again. That's what God says. You don't work, you don't eat. So that's part of this generation too. There's never been anything like it. I've seen them aggressive. I've had them come up and bump me. Who are you Gentile boy? Bump me, get me out of the way. We're on the Sabbath and I think I'm a fairly big man. You might want to be careful bumping me. And, but boy, they're, they're, they don't care how big they are. And, and some of their kids, pompous, you just can't believe. That's why wrath on Judah to the end. Which end? Well, that one and that one too. Matthew, Mark, and Luke says at the end of the first kingdom, Christ shines again and there's even greater glory that he shows.